guys, welcome back to my channel. So, today um, I'm going to be doing um, an updated nursery tour. Because um, I did move some things around again because I just didn't really... Um... Well, the last one that I filmed, the last nursery tour video that I filmed, um, which was like a week ago or something, um, yeah, but, I mean, I like, I like my room how it was, but it was just hard, um, getting in and out because there wasn't much space where my door was, so I just moved some things around, and I kind of like it a lot better where it is now. So, yeah, some things are different, I just moved a couple things, but everything else is still the same. So, yeah, I got all of Baby Girl's stuff, um, all washed and ready, um, I got um, her blankets and stuff washed, um, and yeah, her outfit that I plan on changing, her outfit that I'm going to be changing her into, their first changing. Um, so, yeah, I probably, yeah, I probably will do her first changing video. I don't even think I did one with, oh, yeah, oh yeah, I did. Yeah, their first night home, their first night home video, I'll probably, um, that'll probably be her first changing, um, because I did that with the boys, so I'm just going to do her first night home, um, yeah, so it'll be a little, um, crazy tomorrow, because you guys didn't know tomorrow is my birthday, and, um, yeah, so, from the updates and stuff, it really looks like she's going to be here tomorrow, um, I just looked at the, um, well, it was a couple hours ago, um, and she just arrived in Oshkosh, which is only like an hour and 37-ish minutes away from here, so she will definitely be here tomorrow, and I am so excited. I just, oh, I just cannot believe, um, that she's gonna be here, um, because I've been wanting a baby girl for so long. Well, technically after I got Sean, um, but, you know, I had to save up money and everything, and that took a while, um, but then I decided to get Jake, because of what happened with Sean, um, so, yeah, I mean, I don't, I mean, I love, I, I love Jake, I love him, I don't regret getting him, um, but I just really wanted a girl, um, so, yeah, now I'm finally getting one, and it just doesn't really, I don't know, it just doesn't really, like, feel real yet, like, it probably won't until, like, um, like her box opening when I open her up and, you know, like, I, I'm actually holding her because it just doesn't feel real right now, but it will be, so, yeah, and I just, I just cannot believe she is gonna be here tomorrow on my birthday, I mean, that is just, like, the coolest thing ever, so, yeah, but anyway, I just thought I'd just do this updated nursery tour one last time because, um, everything is all ready for her, so I just figured I'd just do one last video, um, or one last nursery tour, um, before she gets here, so, yeah, let's get started. Okay, so I have this little hook thing on my door, so, basically, I just keep, um, jackets up here, and then some bath towels and robes, like, for roleplay videos, and I got, um, baby girls, bath towels up here that I got her, they're all washed and everything, so, yeah, that's what's on my door. And then over here are all of the blankets, so, yeah, I have baby girl's blanket that I got her, and then some receiving blanket, so this is the only blanket she has right now, well, and the blanket that she's coming home with, but, yeah, and then, yeah, and then just have the boys' blankets, in here, and then this is like a little car seat cover, um, for her, and then this is like a little, um, head support thing for the car seat, and then I got a couple of her blankets, receiving blankets down there. And then right here is where I put the baby swing, so, if you guys didn't see the last video, um, I had my dresser here, um, which had my TV on and stuff, um, but I decided to move it um, because I had to climb over my bed every time I wanted to get to the other side, 
and I just thought maybe it would be best if I just move it and put the swing here because that way it's easier to move when I want to go through um, so I don't have to climb over my bed um, every single time and especially like if I bring or like or like when I'm unloading stuff that I need to put in here and then I can't get to the other side. Or if like I bring one of the babies somewhere, it's just easier to get out. So, yeah. So that's where I put the swing. And then over here is the crib with, um, that has the boys. So I did put some pants on them because, well actually I took them off last night because they seemed kind of warm. But now, I mean, or when I got home from work, um... Um, they were, I noticed they were, like, a little bit cold, because, um, their, like, legs and, their, like, legs felt cold, so I just put their pants and socks back on, so, yeah, so I also plan on, um, changing them, probably change them, um, maybe later tonight, um, but I want to change them into, um, little, um, onesies, here, I'll show you guys, so these onesies, I, ch I put them in these, like, um, a while back, um, I think it was like a couple weeks ago or something. Um, but I just thought that it would be so cool to just put these on them um, for when baby girl gets here. Um, so this one is for Sean. It says, I am not too little to be a big brother. So this is like a six to nine month size. But it doesn't really seem all that big on him. So yeah. And then this one says little brother for Jake. Well, technically, he is going to be big brother, I guess, but technically, in a way, he's like little brother, because Sean's the oldest, so he's big brother, and then he's the second oldest, which is little brother, and then, well, once I get baby girl, then he'll probably be like big brother, but anyway, it doesn't really matter, um, but I just thought that um, it would be so cool if I just put these on them for when baby girl gets here, so... Yeah, and then over here on the wall, I just have their little um, drawings and stuff that I made and their little birth certificates. So here's Sean's and then Jake's and then I plan on putting baby girls like right here. Um, I would think she will come with a birth certificate because um, the boys did. Um, but yeah, so she'll probably come with one too. And then I just have this little thing on here that says, hello, my name is... So, yeah. And then Baby Girls is going to go, like, right there. So, yeah. And then next is this little shelf uh, thingy. I don't know what you call it. But I just have this little bucket here. Or this, like, or not a bucket. This little, like, um organizer thing. I just have diapers in here. So these are newborn and then these are size one. So newborn, these are for Sean and then these are for Jake and baby girl probably because she's newborn size two. Um, so she'll probably be in newborn size diapers too. And then I just have the wipes back here and then this is like some air freshener and then some baby powder and then diaper rash cream that I use for like role play videos. And then this little thing right here, I just have pacifiers. So I have baby girls, pacifiers, these little soothies. Um, and then the boys. So, yeah. And then I just have the bottle warmer. So I recently switched the bottle warmers because I did get a new one um, that came with the bottles. So, yeah. I've got that. And then this one, I just have all the bibs. And burp cloths. Well, these are all the boys' bibs and burp cloths. And then down here are baby girls' bibs and burp cloths. And then back there are just clothes that I, that I can't fit in the tote or on the hangers. So, yeah. And then down here I have the formula. And then there's some more wipes back there. And then I just have these formula dispensers and then pacifier clips. And then... This is for um, bibs, or this is for a bib um, that um, came with the bottles for baby girl. Um, yeah, so, so again, if you guys are new to my channel, um, I just want to say I do not buy real baby formula for my reborns. Um, this formula was given to me by 
um, one of my friends, her sister has a real baby, so, yeah, so that's where I got these from, because I, I do not buy real baby formula for my reborn, so I just want to make that clear, um, like any of you new subscribers or viewers, so, yeah, I do not buy real formula for my babies, and then down here I just have all the little swaddles and then the little gown things. And then over here on this little shelf, up here I just have all of the toys and then these little play mats in here. And then I just have some of my stuff up here for decoration. And then all these three bins are for bottles. So, yeah. And then in here are um, pants and shorts. And then in here are the, some, or the boys' pajamas that I couldn't fit on the hangers, so yeah. And then in this next one right here, I have all of the socks. And then in this one, I have all of the hats. And then in this last one here, I just have um, shoes and then scratch mitts. So yeah. And then in the closet, so I have all of baby girl's clothes um, right here. And then all of the boys are like back here. So yeah, she doesn't really have much clothes yet, but um, in time um, she'll probably start to get more just like the boys. But yeah, so yeah, I'm really excited about putting this outfit on her. Um, I hope it won't be too warm to put it on her, but yeah. And then down here, I just have the boppy, and then the diaper bags under, and then the car seat, or one of the car seats. And then down here is just a tote for the boys' stuff, or for the boys' clothes. And then in here are just the jugs of water that I also got um, from my friend, so I didn't buy them myself. And then up here, I just have all of the baby girl's pacifiers in here, and then in here, so in here I have all of her headbands, and then I have some little um, hair clips, and then I also have this little brush and little comb. So the artist did um, send her with a box, or not a box, um, a brush and a comb set, so... Yeah, so I'll have two, so, yeah, I didn't know that she was going to come home with a brush and a comb set. Well, I probably would know, but, um, but it can't hurt to have two, so that way I don't have to use the same ones over and over again. And then in this little spray bottle here, I just have some, um, detangling spray mixed with some water, and then that's the little detangling spray, um, for her hair, because the artist said since her, since she has mohair, it's going to tangle very easily, so... You know, get like some detangling spray, mix it with a little water, and then, um, yeah. And then I just have diapers up here. Um, yeah, so I have a lot of diapers. I also forgot to mention, under the crib, well that's a little changing um, pad that I got, but under the crib I just have some more size 1 diapers, and then in here I just have silicone glue for sealing the bottles. So yeah, there's just more size 1 diapers down there. Okay guys, so that is everything. So everything is all ready for her, everything's all washed, her bottles all are all washed, and yeah, so there's really nothing else to do. So. Well, I've had like three weeks to um, prepare, so yeah, so I'm really glad everything's ready, because then now I can just relax, and then I won't have to do a bunch of stuff when she gets here, because everything will be already ready for her, so yeah. So yeah, she's going to be here tomorrow, um, unless there is a delay or something, but um Hopefully not, um, but yeah, so yeah, that is about it. So I think I finally um, figured out uh, a name for her, so yeah, so 
her name reveal will be in the box opening. Um, and the video will probably be posted Thursday. So, yeah. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Please click like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!